Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jor of Sorters. Good enough for me. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Wow. I'll come find you later. Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's... It's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the dawn? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvent wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram Holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor, is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> now I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience... Well... Let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the Mad Sun King. And with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Dead machine. 
There must be a bristleback. Maybe Errand took it down? Is that a tripwire? The whole area's rigged with them. Hey! You! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers! It's always something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do! Try luring them into the trip. It's not hooking onto that. I can get data to override machines from cauldrons. Just need to find one. That's the last one. <sighs> Hello, Red. What a day, what a day. Thank the forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but she hunts the youngest game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. See, you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Took down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep, uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, uh, well, Accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Elvind. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. He kept pressing for the Ulven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but. That chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. 
Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the Bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the Bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. They just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Tracks. Maybe Aaron's and the Vanguard's. Like someone's playing a fight. Another one down. Now this, this is what I was forged for. No ledgers to fill. <laughs> no. Boring mid-afternoon patrols! <laughs>